Good morning. How's everybody today? Having a good day? I hope so. Let's start our lesson with the word of prayer. Father, thank you for each one of our children and the big person helping today. Help the kids to listen, to learn, and to have a good attitude today, to obey their their big person that's helping them with their lessons. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, here we go with our verses. Start with Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Everybody stand up, okay? Stand up and sing the songs with me, please. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 Timothy 1 15, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ Jesus came into the world. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners just like me. Christ Jesus came into the world. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way. The truth and the life. I am the way, said Jesus. I am the way, I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth. I am the life, I am the life, said Jesus. I am the way, I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth. I am the life, I am the life for you. Psalm 56, 3, what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid. God watches over me. First John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. Christ left heaven to die upon a cross, but he rose again and lives in heaven to take away our sin. We love him because he first loved us. John 13:34. Love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. As I have loved you. As I have loved you. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Okay, and our verse for this week is Matthew 16, 16. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Let's say it two more times, please, okay? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the of the living God. One more time. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. 
Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You came to earth to die for me, that from sin I might be free. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You came to earth to die for me, that from sin I might be free. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Our story today is about some people that had leprosy. Now, long, long, long time ago, in the beginning of kinder, we had a story about a man by the name of Naaman who had leprosy. But maybe you've forgotten. Leprosy is a disease where you get white spots on your skin. And then the disease starts to eat your skin. And it gets all over your body. And it eats your nose and your ears. And it keeps your blood from flowing through your body. And so your fingers, it eats your fingers and toes. And just eats your body. And people get infections and they end up dying. I had an uncle who was a doctor over in Africa. And he, he helped people who, who had leprosy with their feet on their feet. And he had to help them get shoes to make them walk again. He was an eye doctor, but he helped people there with, that had problems that couldn't walk because of their feet. They lost their toes. It's a nasty disease. And it's very contagious. Contagious. Contagious means it spreads very easily. If you touch somebody and you got that pus and nasty stuff, touch somebody, they would get it. So when people got it, they were not allowed to live in the cities where other people live. And what they had to do wherever they went, they had to call out, unclean, unclean. So people would know, ooh, stay away. Well, outside one of the cities, there was a whole group of people that lived there. They couldn't live in the city. They lived kind of out, outside the city. And they lived all together. And when everybody has leprosy, they don't care whether your skin is brown, black, purple, green, or whatever. They don't care. You're all the same. Why? You're all the same because you have that disease, leprosy. And you're going to die from it. You can't go see your family. You can't hug your family. Mm -mm. They can't give you things, you can't give them things. You have to stay away. And so there was a whole big group outside of the city, but they heard about Jesus. And they heard how he was going from place to place. And they thought, you know what? If we ever got the opportunity, he could heal us, but he would never come to us and he could never touch us because we have leprosy. But that's what they would talk about. They would dream about, oh, if I could only get near Jesus. If Jesus would only come see us. But that would never happen. But they would hope and they would pray. But one day they heard Jesus. It was a hol it was a holy day. Time for a holiday up in Jerusalem, special holy feast. And they heard Jesus was on his way. They figured he would be. And he was coming from the direction and he would have to pass by them so they went out by the road they just waited till they didn't know what day it was but they were going to be there and sure enough they heard he was heading toward jerusalem and so they went out by the road and when um oops dropped my stick when they heard jesus is on his way what did they do they went out to the road and they called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. By saying that he was son of David, they were saying he was the Messiah. Thou art the Christ, the Christ, the one that God promises in. They believed he was the son of God and they wanted him to heal him. You know what Jesus said to him? Jesus did not go over and touch them. He did not do that. 
But what he did say was, go to the priest. Go show yourself to the priest. Now, the only, the only reason you would go to show your, go see the priest was if, if it all went away and there was nothing left. They weren't healed yet. But what did they do? They said, well, if Jesus told us to go, show, go see the priest, what are we going to do? We're going to do that. And so they started going on their way to go find the priest. And as they were going down the road, you know what they did? They looked down, and what did they see? <gasps> they saw. They were better. It was gone. Their skin was like new, like a little baby skin. It was all better. <gasps> they were so excited. <gasps> and they started running and running and running, and they were all better. So what did they do? <gasps> but one of the men turned around. You know what he did? He went back and he said, went to see Jesus and he fell down as he said, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for healing me. He said, you're quite welcome. You're welcome. He said, but there's only one of you. Weren't there 10 of you men? Didn't the other 10 get healed? Didn't the other 10 get healed? They said, he said, oh yes, they went, they're, they're on their way. Jesus said, hmm, hmm, you are a Samaritan, and you came to say thank you. You're not one of my people, but my own people. They didn't come back and say thank you. The man said, but I did. Thank you. And Jesus said to him, go on your way. Your faith has made you whole. How did Jesus know there were... You know, he didn't know there were 10 men. He didn't stop to count them. Mm -mm. He knew there were 10 men. There was just a bunch of them. But what? He's God. He didn't have to count them. And how did he know that this man was a Samaritan, but the other men were all Jews? Because he was God. See, the men saw that they had a problem. The men saw that they had a problem. And what was their problem? I have a disease that's killing me. I'm going to die. And they knew something. There was only one person. There was no medicine that could heal them. There was, but there was one person who could, who could heal them, and that was Jesus, right? So they went to Jesus, and they asked Jesus to heal him. Did he say, no, you're nasty, go away? No, he said, go. Your faith has made you whole. Now, we learned, oh, we learned about sin. We learn about sin, and sin is a disease, isn't it? Sin is a disease. We can't see it, oh, but sort of we can, because everybody knows when you sin. You don't have white spots all over you, but everybody can see. They see when you tell lies. They see when your mama calls you and you don't obey. They see all the bad things that you do. Mm -hmm. That's sin, and everybody sees it. And do people want to be around you when you do bad things? No, they do not. No. They don't want to be around you. It's, and it's like you say, unclean, unclean, unclean. Everybody sees it. But there's only one person that can clean your heart. Who is the only person that can make your heart clean? It's Jesus, isn't it? Only Jesus can make that black heart clean. Mm -hmm. Only, only Jesus can make your black heart clean. And what do you need to do? You need to ask him, don't you? And if you go to Jesus the same way those men asked Jesus, will he, do, will he make your heart clean? Absolutely. He will make it all clean. And then when you ask him to wash away all your sin, will he do it? Mm -hmm. And then God will be your daddy, right? Mm -hmm. Every one of us has that disease called sin. There's only one place that we can get it clean, huh? and that's from God. But we have to ask him, don't we? We have to ask Jesus to wash us from our sins. And if we do that, he will wash our black heart white. I thought my, my heart was right here, but I lost it. It ran away, my black heart. 
sorry. I was gonna. I thought I had it here and don't know. Nope, it's not in my desk. Don't know where it went. But anyway, you don't need it because you've seen that heart, right? And you know that if you ask Jesus, He will wash your sin away. Our verse this week is, "Thou art the Christ." the son of the living god thou art the christ the one god promised to take our sins away and that's that's who he is and those men went to jesus because he was the only one that could do it right your faith has made you whole faith means believing that god what god says he will do let's sing our song okay thou art the christ the son of the living god thou art the christ the son of the living god you came to earth to die for me that from sin i might be free thou art the christ the son of the living god 